Wow, what a pleasure being here today. Happy International Women's Day. Uh, I'm already really touched uh, by the talks I heard before and I'm thrilled to share my story with you. For over six years, I was working for large multinationals like Henkel and Coca-Cola. Actually, in my last role, I was one of the youngest person on my managerial level. I was a woman, and I was responsible for women in leadership programs for 13 European countries. And then I decided from one day to another to quit my job without having any clue what to do next. Everybody thought I'm completely nuts. <laughs> a month later, I had dinner with friends in Berlin when one of them asked me, what would you do if you weren't afraid? And the first thing that popped into my mind was glitter nail polish. <laughs> yes, I know. I had the same feeling, kind of embarrassing, and I had no clue whether it was because I had too much wine that night, but <laughs> of course I didn't dare to say anything in this moment because I was embarrassed. But in that night, I went home at 4 a.m. in the morning. I grabbed my computer and I went to the kitchen and I started researching about nail polish for the first time in my life. Mm -hmm. Did you know that the majority of nail polishes on the market contain ingredients which are suspected to cause serious health issues? Cancer, reproductive problems and hormonal imbalances. Already two hours after applying nail polish once, you can measure these toxins in your body. I had no clue about it. At the same time, the number one factor impacting the global cosmetic market is the use of natural ingredients. But major players are unfortunately still marketing chemical products unable to address this natural movement. Until now. This is Gitty. For over one and a half years, I did research and I was working with a laboratory to develop a completely new, innovative formula. Instead of trying to make existing nail polish better, we took a clean sheet approach. We took everything away which was unnecessary and started with the most natural ingredient, water. I launched my first... Sorry. I launched my first collection end of April 2019, so almost a year ago. It was still just me sitting in my living room, surrounded by hundreds of bottles of nail polishes. My first collection has been sold out with only two hours online. Even before launching my first collection... <laughs> Even before launching my first collection, I had more than thousands of subscribers on my waiting list. Since launch, we have been featured from leading magazines like Vogue, Elle, from Germany to Tokyo. We have been featured in TV, from newspapers, and leading beauty influencers talked about it on Instagram and all social media channels. And we didn't pay any marketing for this. So, since April, Giddy was growing very fast. Right now, I'm surrounded by a very strong team. Uh, we are already eight people working on the Giddy mission, and we have been growing very fast last year, and this year, stay tuned, because we will launch many more exciting products to revolutionary uh, this industry. So it was a very exciting journey, and when Delphine asked me, um, Jenny, can you share like your life lessons? And I was like, I still feel so lonely. What, what's my, my life lesson? But then I thought about what made this journey unique for me. And I actually, I think it's, it's five points. Number one is I strongly believe that when one door closes in your life, another one will open. In my case, it was that I left my corporate career, that I closed the door with Coca-Cola and I stepped into the unknown and had no clue what to do next and something else opened up. Of course, for me, 
it was in this moment a bit easier because based on my role that I had, I had this a little bit financial security to just explore something new, but still I believe your energy goes where your focus is. And if you just have one thing ahead of you, all your energy will go there. So close the door behind you so something else can open up. Number second is follow your intuition. I feel most of the times we are thinking about what can somebody else think of us. We are listening to them what they think we should do or what is the best. And sometimes we are so busy that we don't really listen to ourselves. And then our internal voice gets very silent. So I encourage you to be and actually step a step back and to be really silent and to listen to your own heart and gut feeling. Because everything that you know, uh, need for your path is inside of you. You just need to listen to this internal voice. The third thing is you need supporters. In my case, really everybody was like, Jenny, what are you doing? So it, it, I didn't have people surrounding me that gave me the energy, you're doing something great. I was lucky because I have a husband who is very, very supportive, but I needed somebody else. I needed to have people who actually believed in my business idea. And the first thing that I did, I applied for an accelerator program. And this was the first time I was surrounded by people who didn't think about problems, they thought about solutions. And there was this energy in a room where everybody was just supporting the crazy ideas that you had. And until today, and it's, it's, it's fantastic, basically it's just a WhatsApp group that we are using. But if people are in doubt, if we feel like we, I don't know how to move on, I don't know how to do it, we just text something in the group and you get so much power out of it. So you need this power if you step into the unknown and you're following your own path. So some people can lift you up if you doubt yourself and this will happen. Um, then something which was um, very unique for me last year was there was a moment when um, I felt like something is holding me back. I don't know. I was, I was trying to think, okay, how big can Gitty be? And of course, I also need supporters and financial supporters to help me to build a company to really have a great impact. And then I have felt something internally, it's, it's, I, I cannot really let it go, I, I'm not really leaning in. And I went also to a conference like this, and I was sitting there like you, and there was an amazing entrepreneur on stage, and she talked about losing your handbrake. And in this moment, I felt like I'm holding on. I, I don't know, I, I was feared, I, I was like, what might people think about me, what if it, everything fails, but yes, nobody knows. But you need to believe in yourself and you need to believe into your dreams. So I sat there and was like, yes, I'm just losing my hand right now and I dare to think big. And from that moment on, everything changed. Um, and basically, it's just something internally. Dare to believe in your dream. Dare to believe to think as big as possible. Everything is possible. Um, and, and the last point is... Um, And I have it uh, in our office, and it's a sign which is huge. It's everybody can see it, and every day when I enter in the office, I see it. It says, never, ever give up. Within the last two years, I had so many days where I cried, where I felt like, what the hell am I doing? I have no clue what to do next. I felt completely stupid. I felt like... Um, I'm doing something I have never done before, so I was lacking this expertise, and then I was lacking energy, I was lacking sleep. But somehow I always felt like, okay, that there's my dream. I know what I want to do. And sometimes in this moment, just remember this yourself, it's normal. It's normal that you feel like this. It's normal that you feel like I have no clue what to do. Then just put your work aside, do something, see your friends, um, invite people, cook together, go dancing, whatsoever. Sometimes just sleep. Sometimes it's just good to have a very good rest and sleep. And the next day, the energy will come back because you have your personal dream in front of you. And... Um, yeah, this sign always reminds me when I feel like, okay, there's no way how to move on. 
that there is because you won't give up, because it's your life and it's your pursuit to your personal happiness that you are following. And I'm, I'm very happy to share that with you today. And I'm thrilled to meet you personally and hear about your personal dreams and stories. Thank you. Thank you.